Hi, this is Michael Cohn of Advanced Tubular Technologies. I am going to do a demonstration on the BenderLink Ethernet module that I have running through our network connected to this computer. And you can see we have a piece of software here called the Loopback Tester. The Loopback Tester is designed to connect through electronics, through a COM port, out through a loopback and back through that cable into the same COM port. So this test gives us a way of determining if the cable is okay and electronics are okay and because of the way we've written this software we can also test what's called the latency of uh, the signal uh, in the system as it is communicating with the better length Ethernet module. Now, every better length Ethernet module has built into it a serial device server called a Quatec. You can see that I'm logged into a Quatec serial device server here and up here in the address line we have uh, an address of 192.168.212 which is where this uh, BenderLink Ethernet module is assigned an address on our network. And down here in we're looking at the serial ports page you're going to see that we have what's called the latency is balanced uh, which means the Quatec is not going to hit and use the network with uh, such intensity, but it's going to basically run slower, is what balanced is going to mean to us. We have here COM port 5 in the loopback tester because the better length Ethernet module is assigned COM port 5. And what I'm going to do is start the loopback test now. And you're going to see over here we have. Um, a TX RX pass signal. That's what the blue bar means. And down here you can see a current latency signal and over here we see a maximum latency signal in milliseconds. So right now it's running about uh, up to a quarter of a second in latency. Latency means the time required from when we start an action to when we perceive the action as taking effect. So in the case of a loopback, it would mean how long it takes for the signal to get back to this computer and register to our loopback tester. So the reason why our millisecond time is so high is because we're running with balanced latency. I'm going to go ahead and stop the loopback test in order to close COM port 5. And then I'm going to come back over here to the uh, login screen for the Quatec, and I'm going to click on low radio button and then I'm going to press save which saves the low latency setting to the firmware inside the better link Ethernet module. I'm going to come back over here to our tester and we're going to start the loop back again. Now notice what happened to our latency. It's dropped to 35, 18, 38. It's very low. It's basically working with much quicker speeds our maximum latency is 39 milliseconds. Now when we're running with balanced latency every once in a while you'll see an error over here but right now we're not seeing any errors at all. Now because of the way the Eaton Leonard current loops are set up, the current loop electronics are set up, we can also test for what's called the RTS and CTS signals and you can see that it barely slows down the system even when we turn this on. The uh, Eaton Leonard uh, current loop electronics by design do not include any DTR, DSR lines, so uh, you can see that the loopback is failing down here, and uh, that's normal for current loop electronics because uh, those signals are not passed through the current loop electronics. I'm going to go ahead and stop the loopback test again, and come back over here, click on Balanced, Save, come back over to the loopback tester, and we're going to start the loopback test again. Already we have five errors, we're running a very high latency time and I'm going to turn on the RTS-CTS signal as well and it's going to climb. Now we're up at half a second. So the setting for latency in the Quatec which is inside the BenderLink Ethernet module is really an important setting. It's very critical that it's set to low latency in order to get the best performance out of the BenderLink Ethernet module.